If it feels like Apple's lightning charger has been around forever, that's because it's been over 10 years since it was introduced back in 2012. With every other device from Android phones to game consoles now coming with USB-C ports and growing pressure from the EU for Apple to use the standardised USB-C charger, in this video we'll have a look at how USB-C and lightning compare. Please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy any of my videos, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with how they look. This is the 8 pin lightning connector that's been in use since 2012. Here is the USB-C connector, we can see it's a fairly similar size to lightning. Currently as of 2023, the only devices in the world that ship new with a lightning connector are Apple's iPhone and Apple's AirPods. The list of devices that use USB-C is nearly endless. All recent Android phones, laptops, game consoles and Bluetooth speakers all use the USB-C connector, just to name a few. The lightning cable carries a maximum current of 2.4 amps. USB-C however can carry up to 5 amps, making it much quicker at charging than lightning. Let's have a look at the data transfer speed of each. This is the max speed data can travel to and from connected devices. Lightning has a max speed of 480 megabits, which by modern standards is pretty poor. USB-C has a max speed of 40 gigabits per second. For context, there are 1000 megabits in a gigabit, meaning moving data to and from your USB-C device will be a massive amount faster than it would be if you were using Lightning. Based on this, we can see USB-C is technically superior in every way. So why is it that Apple still stubbornly refused to switch their most popular product, the iPhone, to USB-C? In short, money. Apple sell their lightning connector at overpriced rates and also charge other manufacturers of the cable a rumoured $4 per cable to be able to use the made for iPhone branding. If they switch to USB-C, people will just be able to use the USB-C cable they already have for another device instead of Apple earning anything from it. When do you think Apple will be forced to make the switch to USB-C? Please do subscribe if you found this video useful and thanks for watching.